Hey everybody, one of we is here. 257 AM Wednesday, May 7th, 2014. We just recorded the Stinger Pass for Scorp. I did that with my second Scorp, if you will, the one in the packaging. I do that so I can distinguish one from the other. Uh, what I'm going to do now, again, I stressed this in the last video, if I just had one Scorp, uh, funds were tied, I wasn't a huge fan of the character, the Earth element in general, things of that nature. I would probably take Crystal Venomancer. Now I say that my initial assumption simply is basically as follows. Uh, Emerald Crystal to me, I realize it was addressed, you know, two times in your base upgrades along with the armor and your tertiary attack, which basically means Tail Sting was ignored. But what I liked about it is uh, with Crystal Venomancer, you're going to do more damage, you've got a bigger area. And then the last one kind of sounds like it's going to be possibly beneficial uh, it's just it's the attack I would use more a lot of times I would say with certain Skyliners I'd say okay uh, base upgrades we focused on this it's upgraded it's not too shabby but we did nothing for the secondary attack I think I'm going to come in and actually take that path for whatever reason Crystal Venomancer just appeals to me more uh, so that's what I would do you know and that's what we're going to do here so um, good news is I do have the second Scorp, we've taken that path, I can compare and contrast, everything like that. Uh, we'll warn you ahead of time, I'll be rambling on some here as I fill out my spreadsheet. Reason I do that, if I fill this spreadsheet out now while I'm doing the video, I don't have to go back in and re-watch the video to get damage numbers, so it just works out well. It actually saves me time. By saving myself time, that means this time tomorrow night, instead of me actually going through and getting damage numbers from the video, I can be upgrading you know, Flashwing, Prism Break, Terrafin, uh, the rest of the Earth element, essentially. So, uh, I think it'll work out well. That said, as you can tell, we're in our funky, funky little camera angle deal. When I was playing around with the uh, Shockwave on the Fuming Fissure deal, um, it just randomly switched to this angle, and you can't just, basically, you've got to, like, exit this area, go to a level of challenge, something of those nature. Uh, we're going to talk to Gorm here. Uh, this guy, again, already recorded his base upgrades now. Uh, Stinger Path, take that link at the top of the video description box. It'll take you to a post on the site dedicated to nothing other than the new Lander Scorp. Uh, you'll see a video for the base upgrades for the Stinger Path, and in this case, the Crystal Venomancer Path. In addition to that, you will have a spreadsheet, which should make sense standalone. If it does not, it def definitely will uh, with the videos in tow. So we're going to go ahead and select the Crystal Venomancer Path here. Crystallized powerful venom that explodes and damages enemies over time. So, uh, both of his attacks, primary and secondary, kind of unique in the fact that they hit and then there's, you know, reciprocating damage or uh, lasting damage, you know, things of that nature. So, um, a lot of people don't seem to like it. I don't mind it. It makes him unique. There, there's several other characters with stuff similar, but. Uh, you know, in terms of like base core Skylander, uh, pretty cool stuff here. So we're going to select this one. Again, I do like that warning box. He is a new lander. You can only pick one. If you hate it, you have to reset uh, or get another one, you know, if you want to take Stinger. So that said, we're going to come over here. Uh, before I do anything, let me just kind of recap you. Emerald Crystal Box Stock, 10 to 15 impact, 20 to 30 on explosion. Now, in the base upgrades, we had Crystal Ball and Earth power. Uh, earthly power basically took the 10 to 15 on impact up to 12 to 18, so plus 2, plus 3. And then the explosion, 20 to 30 box stock, became 23 to 35. So we basically had plus 2, plus 3 on the impact, and then plus 3, plus 5 on the explosion. Nothing too crazy there. Now crystal ball is actually kind of cool issue there you've actually got to charge it up I count about four seconds uh, whenever you do that though you're gonna do 50 on impact immediately and uh, that can also range up to 75 on the critical side so uh, first purchased upgrade here again bear in mind I've got 18 wing sapphires on all these prices cracked crystals press Y to throw a powerful sticky explosive crystal that now does damage to enemies in a larger area so this is one of those deals to me, it seems like you should have like the increased damage one here first, but it's not. Um, that'll actually be next, but let's check out the area here. Um, 
He's got pretty good range on this. Let's just see what he does here. Hmm. I don't know about that. There's 12 and 23. 12 and 35. Um, really good range there. I mean... Still gonna be the same damage. The issue I've got, I would like to just drop one down. Let's try to hit the middle. I don't know. I mean, it's it is a bigger blast, but you know, I was thinking it would be like we latch on to this dummy and it might like come out to the middle area here. You know, um, it's. Just, that's kind of disappointing. So, <laughs> let me document it here. Um, so, it's still the same thing 12 to 18, and 23 to 35. Very slight increase you know, in radius. Now, this could be a deal if I was like with actual enemies right now. Uh, that's probably when we might notice it more, appreciate it slightly more. But as is right now, not not quite what I had hoped for. But uh, nonetheless, we'll come over here and uh, pick up the next one. All right, so crystal shards, emerald crystal attacks now do even more damage. So pretty yet so painful. Again, if they just put the numbers here, I wouldn't have to do all this crazy stuff. Uh, and all these upgrade videos would have been recorded months ago. That said, 1408, uh, to me, again, it kind of seems like this should be the first purchased upgrade on Crystal Venomancer, but uh, nonetheless, not a huge deal. We'll go ahead and uh, pick it up. So what we're looking for here uh, is the increase 12 to 18 and 23 to 35. Um, should be able to pick this up fairly easy. Again, I do not like this angle for most of this, but... So 14, and that was a 26. I think... Okay, was that... I'm thinking it might be 21 and 39 on the critical. You can fire this off way faster than these numbers will overlap. You can wind up spending more time. Uh, so criticals aren't too common. Granted, I mean, when you're firing off faster, you know. Huh. If I can just catch those numbers. So 21, I'm going to run with that. And I really feel like 39 is what I saw. So 14 to 21. Again, I hate doing this to you, but, uh, you know, it saves so much time. So 14 to 21 on impact, 26 to 39 on explosion. So uh, we'll run with that. Again, if I miss that number somehow, I'll probably see it or I can adjust on the post, something along those lines. So, uh, plus 4, plus plus 2, plus 3 again on the base, and then the explosion went up, plus 3, plus 4. So not too big of a gain there. However, this one right here is kind of the wild card. Venomous Crystals. When Crystal Ball explodes, which sadly that's the one that we have to charge, you know, for four seconds, it splits into two smaller crystals. Each new crystal does very powerful poison damage over time when it explodes. Not sure that we can set this one up well, but uh, we'll give it a go. Um, I didn't change that to yellow, did it? It looked yellow in his hand, the screen in the pictures. Let's go ahead and pick up Avalanche Dash here. Hold X to curl up into a ball and roll around. Dashing now lasts as long as X is held. Uh, obviously, I know what this does since I just recorded Stinger. Uh, it saves a little bit of time here, so let's back up. First thing I'll do now, where we were doing 45 to 68, uh, just instantaneous quick roll, you can hold it down every time you make contact, you keep rolling. If your thumb is on the X button, you're going to continue on. Now, what that would do with an enemy, not 100% sure, but that is Avalanche Dash. Again, to me, it should be called Desert Dash. 
And if he comes back for Series 2, which I hope he does in Trap Team, I really like Scorp. Um, I kind of wouldn't mind seeing, like, some cactus come up after him. You know, I think that'd kind of be a cool little touch there. Now, sadly, that really does look yellow to me. Ah, I do not like that. Why? The green is so cool. I mean, that, that's literally yellow, you know? Uh, it wasn't yellow in the, uh, inset there. Let's see. That's still got the green hue to it, but the, that is yellow now. Like a tennis ball. It's not like his little picture there above the earth element logo. Uh, that's kind of sad. Again, I'm a stickler for things, aesthetics. 14 to 26 is going to stay the same there. Uh, then 21 to 39 on the critical side. However, what we did, Venomous Crystals is going to impact uh, Crystal Ball. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. He's ready to go now. You kind of see it glowing. Let's see what happens here. 50. And then those blew up. And of course, we don't know what they would have done because there's no enemies here. So let's see if we can get this one to maybe hit and then go towards one of those dummies. Wow. Okay, that, that was a lot to take in and I totally had a bad time. Pick your voice. I'm thinking it might be a little Jeez. This is something I can easily document when I'm editing. I want to say that was like a 38 on the uh, second one. Uh, there might have been a 25. Ready to strike. So okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm pretty sure that those two, um, you know, two smaller crystals, I guess. If we want to be technical. 25 to 38 impact from smaller crystals. And then I'm thinking it might be 11. Uh, let's see. Let's try to check. Pick your poison. Tell me 11. Let me try it again. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put 10 to 15, 10 times, so, uh, hopefully that makes sense to you again, I know it's weird me talking into a spreadsheet, but, like I said, it saves me so much time, and on the flip side, I kinda think it might actually be beneficial to you. Uh, Crystal Venomancer, Cracked Crystals, we're gonna go up to 12 to 18, 23 to 35, it's basically no change in damage numbers. <laughs> and they claim there's a slight increase in the blast radius. I'm not so sure. I mean, there is, I think. Uh, you'll kind of see there when it blows up, but it's it's not like anything massive that's super noticeable here. Uh, probably it will be appreciated with, you know, throngs of enemies around you. Crystal shards, 14 to 21 on impact, 26 to 39 on the explosion. Venomous crystals is kind of cool. Again, sadly, you've got to charge it up about four seconds. You're going to Ready hit the to middle strike. target. You know, you can run around when you're doing this. But 50 to 75 uh, is going to be the initial impact there. And then I'm thinking that you've got 25 to 38 uh, when the two smaller crystals make an initial hit, and then 10 to 15 poison damage roughly 10 additional times. So uh, this will be the final showcase of that. Those sheep would get out of my way. Alright. And he just randomly chucked that over there. So let's try it again. 50, 25. Wow. If you can string it together, as you can see there, you'd get all three, but um, it's one of those deals. I think it would work well, you know, in the game. Uh, we're at 14. Yeah, you know, I could go in and showcase it, but I think I'll just kind of wait on that. Uh, I plan to use Scorp quite a bit, you know, fully upgraded, so we'll just kind of roll with it in nightmare mode or something. Uh, that said, that is Scorp fully upgraded down the Crystal Venomancer path. 
Uh, the biggest benefit there, in all honesty, is Venomous Crystals, but sadly that's the charged attack. Um, I don't know. You know, I might have to tell you that you would be better off going with uh, the Stinger Path. I don't know. Uh, that's just quick assessment there, but I kind of think it actually might be more beneficial. Unless, of course, you don't mind the four-second run-on for Crystal Balls and Venomous Crystals. So that's kind of your determining factor, in my opinion. Um, taking away Venomous Crystals, you know, which again is going to have to be charged up via Crystal Ball, the gains on Crystal Venomancer are marginal. Uh, if that Blast Radius you know, actually has big gains. I don't know about them just yet, but uh, the Stinger Path, in my opinion, actually yields a greater uh, net gain, if you will. So, uh, again, that's kind of my assessment on it there for you. Hopefully that helps you out. Again, the link at the top of this video description, it'll take you to the post dedicated to Scorp. You'll see video for the base upgrades, the Stinger Path, and Crystal Venomancer Path. Then, of course, you'll have my handy dandy spreadsheet, which should put everything in stone for you. So, uh, hopefully that helps you out. Again, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Again, thanks for watching, and I will We'll catch you back here as we upgrade the fellow Earth Element Newlander, Slobbertooth.